Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris and I'm Heidi Alaga. Today, the University of Arizona announced safety measures they could be putting in place after the tragic shooting of Dr. Thomas Meixner on campus last October. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen is live in front of the hydrology department where it happened. Andrew, the university publicly releasing a report today. Yeah, Pat and Heidi, so that group released 33 recommendations that the university should be taking. Now, that's in uh, response to the shooting here on campus of Dr. Thomas Meixner. You could see that his picture is still up here at the building. Now, one of the things that the group found was that the university did not have a proper threat assessment management team with proper leadership. They say the shooter then continued to harass Meixner and some of the faculty here on campus. The university did ban the shooter from campus, so I asked the university president, Robert Robbins, how how are they enforcing that ban for people who are not allowed on campus? He says they have pictures and names of people on the police department's website, but he did say people need to hold him accountable for things that go on on campus. As this report reveals, there were systemic issues across our university that should have been identified and corrected. I'm angry at myself that I did not do more to prevent this tragedy. Now, Robin says he feels like the university's U Alert system could be updated. That sends notifications to people on campus when there's an emergency. He says they could do a live broadcast on there to update people about what's happening on campus. Now, Robin's also talked about social media and how that could play into people being banned on campus. He says it's a possibility that they could look at people's social media in order to see if they're a threat here on campus and they've been banned. Reporting live at the University of Arizona, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9 on your side. Andrew, thank you. Meanwhile, Dr. Meixner's family is now filing a $9 million damage claim against the Arizona Board of Regents, the controlling authority for the U of A. Yeah, before Dr. Meixner died, his accused killer, Mira Dervish, was banned from campus following multiple threats against university employees. Now, Meixner family attorney Greg Kirkendall says a university Dervish attended in California warned the U of A of his violent history long before he came to Tucson. Kirkendall says U of A had plenty of opportunities to treat Dervish as a serious threat and protect people from him. This was a poster boy of violence that was promising to happen. He repeatedly told them what he was going to do. In fact, Tom Meixner's dying words were, I knew you were going to do this to me. The claim for damages is not a lawsuit. The Board of Regents has 60 days to reach an agreement with the Mike Sir family or the family can then go forward with a suit.